Diary Log 44. 44, right? No, no. Saturday, 5th of October, 1.13 a.m. And 23 degrees outside. Dear Diary. Well, after pretty much going on the session yesterday, it kind of went quite decently. Although, that's probably the last time I'm going to get myself onto a Thursday and getting myself to suffer and wake up early. Just to catch a bus over to the university, which is really quite insane. And eventually I've, I've been trying to spend some time and probably with many random things as possible such as adding more characters to my PC Mugen build and some good old uh, you know and just some good old laying down being on my phone and pretty much just staring at the ceiling mm, well I can't even get enough sleep which was kind of something but I mean hey it kind of is what it is and well I was pretty much told from yesterday that our relatives would be there and I kind of expected that I'll be going outside somewhere with my sister but here's what happened today first off we didn't go outside second our relatives have really really are really really horrible people when it comes to planning and being there like they, they literally said that they will be coming over and you know they, they said that they will be coming over to us after the Friday prayer but that literally didn't happen and we have waited like quite half a day to pretty much you know see their asses coming over and when did they come over at pretty much like 6 p.m. or some shit and that while I was literally testing out that new program called Arketzija or whatever and well that thing is basically an alternative to play some to play some online PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast slash Naomi games I tested out for quite a while with a few PlayStation with a few PlayStation 1 games and the good old CVS2 for the Naomi I'm not gonna lie to you it was pretty tight like really tight you know I guess I might start playing that aside of that and well we have spent like quite a long time waiting for their asses and after they arrive it was surely stupid you know uh, and they literally have spent like at least three or four hours at the house to the point we didn't even get any any goddamn lunch until you know 10 p.m. or something after the left I don't know what kind of strategy was that, but sheesh. And well, eventually I was doing another Mugen voice patch, and after all of that, and after a little bit of goofing around on it, I think that's how the day would end. You know, some conclusion. Um, yesterday went a bit decently, even though I found myself like almost snoozing off for quite a few times. 
And today, I'm kind of finding myself slowly, you know, dozing off right now. But am I doing okay is probably debatable, you know? I mean, at least I was able to experience the feeling of falling asleep and dozing off, you know? Let's just fucking hope that I would be able to take that little pill or anything and would actually be able to wake up and sleep early before the college days. Well, like, right now, I guess I'm feeling a little bit, you know, a little bit much decent from the past few days. But this week in general was really, really awful, you know. And like, the fact that I would actually, like, lose three days of sleeping and each day is a fucking college day before the other is like a massive fucking destruction to what plans I used to have and what kind of things that I was supposed to do I mean it rendered me unable to focus at all you know and once the focus is gone from the first time you're basically fucked you know, because there are tons of fucking information that you need to know, and tons of fucking studying that you need to do, and kind of tons of practice that you need to get, not to mention no taking them whatsoever, like it's seriously a bunch of cockadooky bullshit, but the important thing about all of this is that if you don't sleep, you're simply fucked up buddy. You're simply fucked up. <sighs> Might as well just have my mom give me this little, uh, you know, pill again before each college day. Because in all seriousness, it is a massive cockadoogie, you know, if you think about it. <sighs> so, yeah. It is how it is, you know. It is how it is at this point. But again, am I doing okay now? Supposedly, yes. Like, I'm beginning to feel a little bit okay. And, well, I've kind of heard that my sister would be staying with me instead of my uncle although and well I should be excited by this news but I don't know if I should even be excited or not and well honestly it kind of made me feel a bit decent although hopefully that would continue to last and I would have to go back to my recent worry again. It is kind of a rumor. It is still a rumor, so yeah. I'm not 100% believing that shit. And when this happens, I really hope that it isn't some temporary bullshit because I am still not ready to experience the fact that I'm going to be living with someone else that isn't a part of my family for four godforsaken college years. And not to mention, how the fuck am I going to even be able to pay for everything? As a matter of fact, how am I going to be able to face everything that comes in front of me? Although, I gotta admit, being on my laptop and doing most of the stuff is kind of distracting me on a decent way, you know. On a decent way that makes me just 
not have to think about anything that's related to education. And well, let me tell you, I kind of want to stay that way, you know. I don't want education or army or responsibilities to get in the fucking way. Just me, my, my electronics, my phone, my internet and everything. And I'm all good, you know. I'm serious. It'll be much better. But, yeah. That's just how life is. Again, I guess I'm still a man-child. Still a man-child that just can't let go of his comfort zone. Hopefully, hopefully at some point, I would be able to get into that kind of mood and would be ready to to study a little bit or do anything that is academic at this point. Because anything, because if you look for anything that is the slightest bit of academic in me, is 100% guaranteed that it's fucked up, literally. Like to guarantee the fact that you're gonna lose your own, uh, like, being academic and to think academically and to study to get into the mood of studying is just one thing that is fucking gonna be fucking hard for me to do, you know? To even read a simple goddamn PDF material is as hard as trying to go through a fucking RPG game, at least half of it in one day. Not the 3D ones, but the, you know, the old 2D ones. Well, hopefully I am wrong about that. And that I'm actually able to study and understand the things that I'm supposed to understand and everything. Hopefully that's possible too. So, bottom line, I'm doing, I'm doing slightly bit okay, just a slightly bit, and feeling a little bit drowsy, not gonna lie, but if uh, things go well, then it's guaranteed that I'm gonna be you know, I guess it will be guaranteed that I'm going to be doing fine, I suppose. It's just I'm still not ready for this kind of experience, you know. I'm going to be at a time where my life is in a completely different dimension, you know, it's like it's going even further to the point where I feel like I'm not even living in my house or in my place or even at the, at the same kind of lifestyle that I used to have. I feel like I'm living on like a total other planet. A completely different dimension. You know? It's like not even my place, not even my space, not even my house, not even, you know, my world anymore. Which is kind of fucked up to say the least because to be living alone with someone else that isn't my family. Or to be living alone in general, and there's only one person, you know, not being able to, you know, having to figure 
room. How to deal with most things on your own. At this early stage. Like. Let's be real. Doing this at the early stages, like in college and whatsoever, is absolutely fucked up, man. Completely fucked up to the point that it's not even right. You know? It's not even the fun type of being independent and whatsoever. As a matter of fact, being independent in general is not fun at all. Like, for one, you're gonna have to get a stable income job. And two, do not try to rent. Because on top of paying the lots of bills and lots of fucking, you know, stuff that are related to your life, you know, in terms of necessities, groceries, and bills for food, internet, or whatsoever. <sighs> and if you really want to save up for something, it's going to be also a lot. So put that all together, and being independent isn't really that, isn't really that fun, or real, isn't really that good. It is insane. It is insane, to say the least. And the fact that I would have to learn something that is similar to it, right from the fucking college time, is something that I have never even imagined, or never even had planned for it to go in my life. You know? Like, that, that's not how I imagined what my life would be like. For real. But, um... But, I mean... I guess if things go decent enough, eventually... Then, well... I suppose it would be all right. It would be all right. Oh well. Oh well, it is, um, it is fucked up. It is just fucked up. So much for a good life. So much for the quest of a good life. Might as well have just stayed in high school at this point, you know. Might as well have just got myself a time machine so suddenly and just reset my entire life with it, you know. Get back to being a baby. Get back being, you know, born out of my mom's freaking you know, womb burn and whatsoever. Because like I said, that's not how I imagined my life would be going. Because it fucking sucks more than anything. Like the fact that I destroyed myself for a bunch of video games, modern, old, and new, that might as well have just stayed as a goddamn idiot while well, doing well in education and in life in general. Oh well, my God thinks that it's some things that was good for me, but honestly, I don't think that's good for me. It's just me realizing how stupid my goddamn past life choices were more and more. And it shows me how 
my past choices have also made a huge fucking effect in every year. Effects are, and the effects are getting much worse by the time. I know I'm not supposed to stick myself to the past, but let's be real. The past is biting me in the ass. It just keeps biting me in the ass. Just when you think that you're already done with it. Throw it behind and start fresh. Won't let you start fresh. It won't let you continue your life normally. Oh no buddy, you're fucked. Yeah. If you did shit in your past, then congrats. It's gonna bite you in the ass and throughout your whole life. And honestly, it was something that I did not plan for. Oh well. Life sucks. That's the least to be said. Life sucks. Right now, I guess, um, I guess I'm doing quite decent for the time being. Other than that, um, right now, I'm just doing a bit decent. That's the least to be said. And hopefully, at least in the next few days, things would be much better. And I would hopefully be able to sleep before each college day. And to fucking hope that I can relax more, more, and more. You know, that I can relax, relax, and more relax before all the college days in the goddamn next few days. <sighs> yep. Life fucking sucks. And I can't believe that I put myself into this. I really screwed up big, big time. Probably the biggest mistake that I've ever made. What am I gonna do? Wait for the sweet release of death. Or you go to death yourself. Seriously, you're f I'm fucked at this point. Well, if you are listening to this far, then I deeply thank you. And hopefully we can meet on a much more positive note. Until then, farewell.